In this tutorial, we will take a look at the built-in React Native section list component, which is very similar to the flat list component. And just like that, the section list is also virtualized. The key difference is that the section list supports sections, a classic example of that being something like a contact list. So let's take a look. A key requirement for using the section list component is to have your data in a particular format. Fortunately, there is a type called section list data that is exported from the type definitions of React Native, which we can use to ensure that we follow the correct structure. This is actually a generic type and it takes two type arguments. The first is the type of the items that we want to store within the section list. And the second is the type of the data that we want for the section header itself. For our contact list, the items will consist of first name and email, and the header will only consist of the section name. The data that we pass to the section list is simply going to be an array of this section data type. And as an example, here is the first section where the section name is A, and the data consists of names and emails for people that have their first name starting with the letter A. And to demonstrate the behavior of the section list as we scroll through the different sections, let's add a bunch of other sections as well. Now, before we start using the section list component, Let's create some basic styles for the item container, the item text, and the header container as well as the header text. The item container is going to have a nice padding of 5 and it's going to be a single row where the items are separated by space in between. The item text is just a big font and as for the header container, it's going to have a padding and a background of color gray and the header text is just a big font with the color white and a font weight of bold. With these styles in place, let's focus in on the section list component that is provided by the React Native module. In terms of props, the key difference between section list and flat list is that the section list component takes three props instead of two. The props are sections, which will follow the format that we saw previously, and then two render functions, first one for the items and a second one for the headers. For our item components, we are rendering a simple view containing two text elements, one for the first name and the second for the email. And for our headers, we are simply rendering the section name in a text element within a simple view. And with this simple code, we get a nice contact list that might take you back to your memories of your first smartphone. Now, even though I did not use index and section when rendering the item, I destructured these properties from the first argument just so that I could point out that these are available for you to use if there is a need for them in your particular design. Now, these are just the basic props that you need in order for the section list to function. But of course, additional customization props exist as well. Now, one thing that you might notice with the simple section list component is a sticky header. As we scroll through the different sections, the header for that particular section always sticks on top. For example, we can see the section header C because that is the header for the first section that is currently being displayed. However, if we run the same example on an Android device, this is not the case. Even though section C is on top right now, we do not see the header for C. Now there is a prop on the section list component to control this called sticky section headers enabled. Yes, that is the name of the prop and it is quite a mouthful. But sticky pretty much auto completes to this thanks to TypeScript so you don't have to memorize the whole name. Now the default value for this prop on iOS is true whereas on Android it is false which is why we were not getting the sticky headers on Android. But with this prop set to true, we now get the sticky headers on Android just like we previously saw on iOS. Another thing worth mentioning is that in addition to the custom props specific to the section list component, it also supports props that we previously saw with the flat list component as well. For example, there is a key extractor prop which can be used to customize the key that is used for the individual items. The default would have been index anyways, but we can provide a better value which is item.email which is unique for the items within our section data. Now, of course, in our case, this doesn't actually change any of the existing behavior, but it is always a great idea to provide your own custom key to prevent unexpected gotchas. Thank you for joining me. Smash that like and subscribe for more developer tips and tricks, and I will see you in the next one.